Hi kids. I hope everybody is fine. So this video is for class 10 student. We were solving numericals from calorimetry, exercise 11b, consigns physics and we have already done till sum number 10. In this video we will start from sum number 11. Let us read the sum. 250 gram of water at 30 degrees centigrade is contained in a copper vessel of mass 50 gram. Calculate the mass of ice required to bring down the temperature of the vessel and its content to 5 degrees centigrade given L of ice is 336 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kg C of copper specific heat capacity of copper is 400 and specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg per kelvin this is given to us see there is three things first of all try to understand there is water there is copper vessel both are at 30 degree centigrade yes or no and lastly there is ice at 0 degree so how much ice is required to bring down the temperature of these two to 5 degree centigrade this is my final temperature which means this will gain heat and these two will lose heat in this case water loss of heat mc del t change in temperature m is what 250 grams so 250 by 1000 kg may c is what 4200 because c was in joule per kg so i divided by 1000 okay and change in temperature 30 to 5 25 30 minus 5 uh, this this 25 into 25 is 625 multiplied by 42 joule done copper vessel again loss of heat be careful the initial temperature of copper vessel will be same as that of water loss of heat suppose this is q1 this is q2 again mc del t m is what 50 so 50 by 1000 c is what 400 and change in temperature same 25 so three zeros goes away by 4 times 20 and two, uh, 25 into 20 is 500 joule 5 4 times gives you 20 20 into 25 is 500 joule now ice see the final temperature is 5 degrees centigrade which means first ice at 0 changes to water at 0 and then water at 0 changes to water at 5 degrees centigrade. Yes or no? Now, over here heat will be ML. Over here heat will be MC del T. Change in state only. So heat is required to change the state. M we don't know. L is how much? L is 336. 336 into 10 to the power 3. Done. Joule. And over here MCT. M we don't know. C is how much? C of water is 4200. 4200. And del T, change in temperature from 0 to 5. So 5 minus 0 is 5. Yes or no? This is in case of ice. Now this plus this will be equal to this plus this. Heat loss equals to heat gain according to the principle of calorimetry. Let us solve it. See, how much is this first? 336000 M plus 4. Change you multiply it. 5 times 0, 5 to the 10, 20, 21, M. Add it now. So this is M, this is 0, 0, 0, 6 plus 1, 7, 3 plus 2, 5, and 3. So that's 3, 5, 7, 0, 0, 0, M. This much of joule energy. Okay? Now, Q1 and Q3 will add. First of all, Q1. What is Q1? 625 into 42. 2, 5 times 10, 2 to the 4, 5, 12, 4, 5 times 20, 4 to the 8, 9, 10, 24, 25. That's 0, 5, 2, 6, 2. That's how much? 2, 6, 2, 5, 0 joule. So we can say heat gained according to the principle of calorimetry 3, 5, 7, 0, 0, 0, M is equal to heat lost which is 2, 6, 2, 5, 0 plus 500. Okay. So that's 357000M is 26750. So M is 26750 by 357000 kg. Okay. Solve it. They've given the answer as 74.93 gram. 
So when you solve this, you will get 0 0.073, 74 sorry, 7493 kg you will get. So change it to gram. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 74.93 gram. This is your answer. Heat lost by water and copper vessel will be equal to heat gained by ice. Okay, over here MCT, MCT, over here ML plus MCT. Be careful, okay? Chal. We'll do the next one now, number 12. See number 12. 2 kg of ice melts when water at 100 degrees centigrade is poured in a hole, drilled in a block of ice. You had a block of ice, okay? And a hole was drilled over here. And you poured water, you know, you poured water at 100 degrees centigrade over here. Then what happened? 2 kg of ice melts. Try to understand this sum. Very interesting. Okay. What mass of water was used? What mass of water was used? Given C of water, specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg per Kelvin. And specific latent heat of ice, L of ice is, L of ice is 336 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kg. We are asking the mass of water which was used. See, first of all, the whole block of ice does not melt, which means the final temperature will be zero. Only 2 kg of ice melts. The final temperature of, you know, water at 100 degree will also become, it will become water at 0 degree. Yes or no? So what happened? You have ice and you have water at 100 degree. Now ice was at 0 degree, it will change to water at 0 degree. Try to understand. The whole block does not melt. It's melting. First of all, the entire thing melts. Then only there is a rise in temperature. Na? A part of it melts, which means it is at 0 degree centigrade. And water was at 100 degree centigrade, which you poured. Changes to water at 0 degree centigrade. This is heat gained. Yes or no? You change the state ML. Mass of ice which melts, melts is 2 kg into L336 10 to the power 3 matlab, 3 zeros joule. Done. That is 0, 0, 0, 2, 6, 0, 12, 2, 3, 0, 6, 7, 2, 3, 0, 6. Okay? Joule. In case of water, what happens? See, heat lost. It loses heat. M C del T. M is what? We don't know. C is 4200. And change in temperature is 100. Now heat loss equals to heat gain, which means M into 4200 into 100 is equal to 672000. Yes or no? 1, 2, 3, 0. 1, 2, 3, 0. So M is what? 672 by 420. So all this, 3, 3, 6, by 2, 1, 0, again by 2, 1, 6, 8, yes or no, 1, 0, 5, then goes by 3, 3, 5, 0, 3, 6, 0, 3, 3, 0, 3, 5, 0, so 7, 7, 8 times, 7, 5 times, which means 0, uh, sorry, 1.60 kg. This much of ice, uh, this much of water, yes, that's the answer, 1.6 kg. This much of water at 100 degrees is poured in that hole. So that 2 kg of ice melts, heat loss equals to heat gain, simple logic. And the main thing was the final temperature will be 0 degrees centigrade. Okay? Chal. We'll do number 13 now. Number 30. Calculate the total amount of heat energy required to convert 100 gram of ice, 100 gram of ice at minus 10 degree centigrade into water. You are converting it into water at 100 degree centigrade. I am reading one more time. Calculate the total amount of heat energy required to convert 100 gram of ice at minus 10 degree centigrade completely into water at 100 degree centigrade. What is given to us? Specific heat capacity of ice, C of ice is 2.1 joule per gram per Kelvin. Specific heat capacity of water, 4.2 joule per gram per Kelvin. Specific latent heat of ice, latent heat of ice is 336 
जूल पर ग्राम ओके okay? लोग भैया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो दिस प्रोसेस आइस एट माइनस टेन टू वॉटर एट हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड है स्टेप वाइज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड आइस एट माइनस टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड फर्स्ट विल चेंज टू आइस एट जीरो चेंज इन टेम्परेचर देन आइस एट जीरो चेंजेस टू वॉटर इज ए चेंज इन स्टेट वॉटर एट जीरो then water at zero changes to water at 100 by gaining heat over here heat q1 will be ml over here heat q2 will be mc delta uh, sorry. sorry 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 over here heat will be mcp because there is a change in temperature q1 is mc delta t over here since there is a change in state q2 is ml over here again change in temperature so q3 is mc del t yes or no now just substitute the value and get the answer q1 will be what m is given as 100 specific heat capacity of ice is 2.1 change in temperature so minus 10 to 0 so 10 degree is the change in temperature joule so this is what 2100 joule done q2 ml M is what? M is hundred. L is what? Three three six. Three three six. So that's three three six zero zero joule. Done. In the last step, water at zero changes to water at hundred again. Q three M C T M is what? Hundred. C is four point two. Change in temperature is hundred. So that's four point two into hundred is four two zero. So it's four two zero 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 joule. The total heat is two one zero zero plus three three six zero zero plus four two zero zero zero. That zero zero seven three two five six seven. This much. Yes or no? Seventy seven thousand seven hundred joule. Yeah, they have given the answer as seven point seven seven into ten to the power four joule. Same thing. They have given the answer like seven point seven seven into ten to the power four joule. One two three four. One two three four. So ten to the power four. This was easy. I said minus ten changes to I said zero. I said zero changes to what at zero. What at zero changes to what at hundred. Step by step it happens. It won't go from this step to this this phase to this phase in one step. Okay. Chal. Look at number forty. The amount of heat energy required to convert one kg of ice at minus ten degree centigrade. So ice at minus ten degree centigrade, one kg. The amount of heat energy required to convert it to water at hundred degree centigrade is the amount of heat is seven 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 zero 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 joule. Calculate the latent heat of ice, latent specific latent heat of ice. Okay, given. Specific heat capacity of ice is two one zero zero joule per kg per kelvin, and C of water is four two zero zero joule per kg per kelvin. Just like the previous sum, over there we got the heat and everything was given. Over here heat is given and L is missing. The process remains the same. Ice at minus ten degree centigrade changes to ice. At zero degree, then it changes to water at zero degree. Then it changes to water at hundred degree centigrade. One, two, three steps. This entire conversation, conversion rather. Now, look over here. Over here, heat Q one, change in temperature M C delta T. Mass is one kg. C of ice is two one zero zero. Change in temperature is ten zero. And this is minus ten, so the change in temperature is ten. Zero minus or minus ten. Ten. So the answer will be two one zero 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 joule. Q two ml because there is a change in state. Okay, specific latent heat. So Q two one into L because L we don't know. Leave it like this. Q three again mc delta T. Mass is one. C is four. Two zero zero and delta is hundred. Just look carefully. Four two zero 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 joule. Now, according to the problem, 
this total heat should be equal to this plus this plus this which means I can write 21000 joule plus L joule plus 420000 joule is equal to 777000 yes or no? I am not writing joule otherwise you will get confused joule this much joule this much joule and this much joule is equal to this much joule now just solve it this plus this so 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 21,000 that's 44 this is 1, 0, 0, 0 so L is equal to 7, 7, 0, 0, 0 3, 7, sorry minus 4, 4, 1, 0, 0, 0 so 0, 0, 0, 7 minus 1, 6, 3, 3 this much joule per kg that's your latent heat. Let me see the answer. Yeah, the specific latent heat of ice is 336000 joule per kg. That's the answer. Same like the previous one, 30 number. Over there, we got the total heat over here. One quantity was unknown. L of ice. Process remains the same. Okay. Chal. We'll see the last sum, sum number 15 now. Now look at 15. 200 gram of ice at 0 degree centigrade converts this changes into water at 0 degree centigrade in 1 minute. Time is what? 1 minute. When heat is supplied to it at a constant rate. At a constant rate. We have told. At a constant rate. Okay. In how much time? In how much time? 200 gram of water at 0 degree centigrade, 200 gram of water at 0 degree centigrade will change to water at 20 degree. Change to water at 20 degree. They are asking the time in this scenario. Now look over here. They have told at a constant rate, which means power is same. Yes or no? So in this case, the first case power P1 will be Q1 by T1 over here P2 will be Q2 by T2 Q1 is what? there is a change of state so ML M is 200 and L I think L was given in the sum taking specific latent device is 336 joule per gram 336 joule per gram 200 into 336 done this much of joule by time Time is 1 minute. So that's 60 second. Done. This is P1. P2. Q2 is what? There's a change in state. Uh, there's a change in temperature. So M. C of water. C of water we know. 4.2. Into change in temperature. That's 20. By T2. Yes or no? Now. P1 and P2 is same. Which means. P1 is 200 into 336 by 60 is equal to 200 into 4.2 into 20 by T2. 200, 200 goes away. T2 comes over here. In one step, T2 is 4.2 into 20 into 60 by 336. Done. Cross multiplying. Point goes, 10 comes. 6, 10 times. 6, 5 is a 6. Yeah, 6 up. Then 2 1s up, 220. How much? 28 times. Then 2 5 times, 2 14 times. I'm just solving it. 3 times. That is 15 seconds. So in 15 seconds, water at 0 degree changes to water at 20 degree centigrade. When heat is supplied at a constant rate. Done power will be same. P1 equals to P2. P1 is Q1 by T1. Q1, ML. Q2, MCT. There's a change in temperature. Done. Chal. We'll keep it till this here in this video because this was the last sum of this exercise. In the next video, we'll see something else. Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video, do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends.